Oh man, you know there's some upholster watching who is just like, what is this guy doing? It's actually, it turned out not bad. Welcome back. This is what we're doing today. This is the seat that uh, it needs a little bit of work. And we have everything we need to do that. New seat cover. We have our staple gun and we have our new foam. That's right, we have uh, our uh, expanding foam for uh, sealing up the cracks in your house. Now, the only way you're gonna see this video is if this worked. And if you're seeing this right now, that means this worked. I forget who, I forget who said. Uh, somebody on the channel at one point on one of the Big Red Repair videos said that you can use this expanding foam to uh, refoam your seat. And I mean, the seat cover, for this Saddleman seat cover, it was, I think it was 25 bucks on, what's the name of that site? How come I can't remember? Uh, where's the box? This was 25 bucks on Fortnite, and to get the seat cover as well as the um, the seat foam was like 140. So here we are with the seat cover and a five dollar can of spray foam. Somebody left a comment on this channel saying this works, so you better be right. We have all the parts we need uh, here to do this, including the seat. So we'll start by getting the seat disassembled, uh, the latches and stuff all need to come off, and the cover obviously. And hopefully this works. Here we have our seat down to the bare bones. Now, I don't want to give you the wrong impression here. And that would be the impression that I know what I'm doing, because I don't. This is what's left of the seat foam, and uh, we will be using this. You can use, I'm pretty sure, any foam, doesn't matter. I still, I don't know if this works yet, but uh, we're gonna give it a shot. I'm gonna leave what is actually left in here for foam. I'm not gonna strip it all out, because it kind of gives me an idea of uh, the peaks and plateaus and kind of the shape this seat needs to be. Um, but let's, uh, let's get right into it. We let the foam set up overnight and it got quite a bit bigger. That's okay, that is exactly what we want. So now we are going to take some tools and we're going to trim the seat down and try to kind of match this shape that, uh, that was on there. I uh, I did the thing and um, it's uh it it's uh, it turned out. I mean, it's gonna be what it's gonna be. I think if this has taught me anything, that those of you who have a rip in your quad seat or a rip in your bike seat or a rip in the sled seat, don't don't wait for it to get as as bad as this one was. Like, spend forty bucks or twenty bucks or whatever it is on that cover and just get it done. Otherwise, you're gonna have a a seat that looks like this, and I think it is gonna work. This is our new seat cover, and I think the one saving grace here is gonna be that uh, what the manufacturer did here is they put in there's it even feels like more than a quarter inch of just foam padding, and that'll help kind of fill in these uh, weird looking spots. So uh, not too bad. It's uh, it actually. That trick actually works really good for filling in um, just the little holes, but if you have to do like the whole seat, uh, yeah, not great. Not really the easiest thing in the world to do, but if you just have a couple little uh, spots that need patching, it's actually not too bad. But uh, let's get the seat cover on it. Let's see how it looks. I've reupholstered like one, maybe two seats in my entire life. So let's see what this looks like.
Oh man, you know there's some upholster watching who is just like, what is this guy doing? It's actually, it turned out not bad. These uh, ridges are, act they look worse on the camera than they do in person. It's actually much, uh, much smoother than it looks like uh, on the camera. I was trying to take a picture to show my dad, because he wants me to do his seat, and I was like, why does it look so bad on the camera? It's actually not bad. It's not bad, like there are uh, there are a few creases, and again, these look actually way worse. You know, I'm looking through the viewfinder of the camera now, and they look way worse on camera than they um, actually do in real life here. So you can see that there's uh, a few bumps here from the foam that we have on the inside. There's a couple little ridges, a couple more bumps, but hey, not bad for, uh, I think we did this whole project for including the new seat cover was like 28 bucks or something like that so um, if you want to get the foam and you end up spending um, you know upwards of 150 dollars if uh, you want to do the foam or you can do it this way for 30 bucks not too bad of a way to go if you're just trying to fix up an old machine and trying to make it uh, you know somewhat pretty and I think for this trike here that's exactly what she needs is a seat it, it definitely is better than the one that was in there before. Um, is a seat that's actually half sturdy. Not too, yeah, it's got a little wrinkles now that the gas tank pushes this up a little bit. The wrinkles look a little worse, but hey, you know what? For uh, what it is, you know, I'm happy with it because I didn't have to spend, uh, you know, 150 $160 to get the seat redone. That's for the old machine that I am... Buying the machine, $200, uh, and then like with the battery and the starter, thanks to uh, the gentleman that sent me the starter for this, I'm like 300 bucks into this thing, including buying it, and now everything works, so that's, uh, that's it's not that bad of a way to go. It's not perfect, but um, you know, it, it, it does actually, it does work. Gonna end this video there. I've sat on it. It, it. It's a little hard. If I was restoring a machine to brand new condition, I would probably spend. I, I would definitely spend the extra hundred dollars, hundred twenty dollars, to get the foam with the seat. Keep your foam in good shape because if your foam's in good shape, you can just throw a new cover on. You, you don't have to do that. Last video. Overwhelming urge for me to do a snorkel. So don't worry. I've uh, I've already been thinking about it. Yeah, I'll probably, I'll probably do both of them. All right, thanks everybody for watching this video. If you found this video even just a little bit helpful, uh, if you're trying to save a little money, maybe, maybe it's the way you want to go uh, to put a new seat on. It's, it's very hard, uh, so be aware of that, and uh, it, it does take some time to do. But uh, thanks everybody for watching this video. If you happen to like this video, hit the subscribe button down below. Uh, merch links, sponsor links, uh, affiliate links all down in the description. Um, that's it for this video, and we'll see everybody in the next one. Bye-bye. Uh-oh. Come on, baby.